Hi everyone, Paula here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how-to videos from subjects like Mac tips, backends, Swift, Salesforce, and game development. This is part five of my Blueprint how-to series. In this video, we're gonna learn to use inheritance and blueprints in Unreal Engine. I'll show a quick demo of the power of inheritance with blueprints. We're going to create a parent class, basically a base class upon which other future blueprints will derive. In simple terms, whatever the parent class has, the child class can inherit. Any functionality like components, variable functions can be inherited by the child class. So let me show you the current setup that I have. So here I have my third person um, person here. I configured the F key. If I hit the F key on the keyboard, it would do a print string. So it's saying right now damage of zero. And I have this dagger floating in the air. So when I collect this dagger and I hit F, it's now showing damage dagger uh, 10. So let me show you what I have on my content drawer. So under the content drawer, under my blueprints, I use the same third person character. So let's open that up first. So under the third person, I have created a couple of variables, um, hit damage of integer and a weapon name. and binded it to the F key and on my F key I'm just doing the print uh, string so the weapon name and then the hit damage using the append function so basically that's it on the third person character so let's jump on the base weapon that I created so this is based off the parent class actor uh, just FYI all of the if I just quickly go back to the content drawer here, if I right click and click blueprint class, these are mostly parent classes, but all of these parent classes, this class derived from basically the object class. And each one of these inherits from one another. So the actor inherits from the object class, pawn inherits from the actor, character inherits from the pawn. So whatever is defined on the object class gets passed down to the actor to the pawn to the character so that's how um, it kind of works so let's jump back to the base weapon so I have this base weapon now um, where I have this components configured I have a box collision a static mesh and a rotating movement so this makes that uh, rotating movement of the static mesh so right now I don't have anything configured here which will be configured later for my child classes. So I could have this base class basically just a um, template for what I like. Uh, and then I have here uh, three variables. I have a hit damage, I have a sound effects, and I have a weapon name. So basically that's it for uh, what I've configured here. Let's, let's jump to the event graph for the a little bit of logic. So here with the box collision selected, I have it on event um, begin a uh, component of begin overlap, and I'm checking if the third person uh, actor is the one overlapping that uh, box. And basically, when it is a third person, let me play a sound, and I have two sequence here. I'm dragging off from the third person, and I'm setting the weapon name and the hit damage. And I'm uh, populating those with the uh, couple of variables that I created, uh, the hit damage and the weapon name. And then finally, I'm going to destroy the actor. So uh, sweet and simple setup on the um, base class. Now jumping to the dagger, um, you can see here if I jump just to the event, it inherited everything from the parent class. As you can see here, it also has a reference to the um, here to the blueprint if I click on edit blueprint here it would actually jump to the base class um, and then if I go to the event graph here this is just the boiler code um, uh, settings here you could delete that if you want you could see there's no code in here but it would still work so let me run it again so here when I collect that hit F key it would show me that the dagger damage is set cool so here what I did is in the hit here I adjusted the hit damage to 10 and the weapon name to dagger so basically that's what I did there um, now 
I could create another class from the base uh, weapon class by right clicking and select create child blueprint and this one I'm going to call axe. Open that up and I could go to the hit damage here and say axe should have like 50 damage and for the weapon name say axe and finally let's add a uh, static mesh X right there save compile and I could drop this X anywhere here on my screen Lift that up and now when I collect the X and I hit F it would say X damage 50 so basically that's how uh, inheritance works um, one thing I want to show as well if I go back to the base weapon here and I drag this a little bit out. I'm, I'm going to change this into a function. I'm going to right, uh, select them all and then right click and say um, collapse to function. Now I have this new function here. Let me give this a proper name. Um, pick up item. Compile and save. So now that I uh, changed that into a function from one of my uh, classes here, um, if I go under the functions here and click on here, and so this pickup item, I should be able to uh, add additional logic here. So from for the dagger, I want to add some sort of um, Let's say spawn emitter at location, and I'm gonna just bring this. Um, just say explosion. So there's gonna be an explosion when I collect the dagger, and it's gonna at which location. So I'm just gonna say get actor location, and plug that in like so, and save, and Basically, I've customized that the dagger, when it's collected, it, there's going to be an explosion. And then for the axe, there's no explosion at all. So that is quick, uh, easy tutorial on how to use uh, inheritance on blueprints. Hope you like this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.